Hi guys, I am going to show you how I did maintenance on myself. I took off my eyelash extensions. I am dealing with a horrible breakout while I'm like right at the very end of it. And I colored my hair and did a conditioning treatment. I am gonna show you how I did all of that and went from this to this. I look crazy right now. I am doing some maintenance on my hair and face today. I am having the worst hormonal breakout for the past three days. And oh, look at these wampers, oh my gosh. And then I get this crazy rash and my face was so dry, it was literally cracking. What I've been doing is soaking my face in extra virgin olive oil and extra virgin coconut oil to calm my face down and it's finally, finally getting there. The rash is going away. That wamper is still hanging in there, but my face is finally getting there. I wanted to show you guys, this is my Amazon store, the skincare category. And I wanna show you exactly what I'm using right now. I've been using this cleanser for over a month. I would say about six weeks now. I absolutely love it. I will link all of this down below in the description box for you guys. This gets off all of my makeup. It is not drying at all. This would be for any skin type. It's a foaming, ultra gentle daily cleanser. I also have been using this. This is an overnight recovery balm. And instead of making that mixture of the coconut oil and olive oil, this is what I have been using for over a month. I absolutely love it. It's got kind of a thin Vaseline-y consistency, but it absorbs into your skin so nicely and it really does what it says. It's an overnight recovery balm. It has been helping my acne so much and I will link all of this below in the description box for you guys. I also have the same exact thing in my hair, the olive oil and coconut oil, and I soak my hair in it while I am touching up my roots with hair color. And I use eSalon custom hair color. I'll link that below in the description box for you guys. And I got this kit on Amazon that has these ear protectors. I don't know if you can see that. And they just slip over your ears so your ears don't get covered in hair dye. They are amazing. I also took my eyelash extensions off with the same oil. So they are, oh, it feels so good to rub my eyelashes after, cause I wear eyelash extensions every single day. I use the Lashify. And so I took those off and I'm going to also redo those today. So this is reality guys. This is how I do maintenance on my hair, skin, eyelashes and I went and got my nails done at a local nail salon up the road. They did such a beautiful job. I brought them this picture of this exact nail design and they created it perfectly and they are so much cheaper here in Florida than in Connecticut. It's unbelievable. I also got my toes done. I just got um, this sparkly on my toes and the timer just went off for my roots so i am going to go wash this out but before i wash it i'm going to take the same oil mixture and i'm going to massage my scalp so my scalp is nice and hydrated then i'm going to wash it out with shampoo okay my hair is all done it's still wet and drying i'm just letting it dry natural and I have my face hydrated again. I'm not gonna put on makeup right now. I'm just going to let all these oils soak in. I also finished my eyelashes and I'm just at the last point where I crimp them. And I use the Lushify bondage with charcoal flex and the Lash 
pattern that I have is the 16 double E's on the outside and then the 15 double E's on the inside and in the very corner and in the very corner, I have the 14 double E's. You can see they have like this really nice curve to them and they're really thick. I love, it almost looks like I have eyeliner on. It's so funny because I started out with the um, just really conservative eyelashes and now I'm up to these ones where I'm ready to fly away, but I absolutely love it. So the I use the Charcoal Flex, Bondage with Charcoal Flex, and the Glass. So this is the last step that I'm using right now. I just put this underneath, comb it through, comb it through the outside. This just helps it dry. And these will stay on depending on how rough I am with them, they will stay on for a week or two. So I can do anything that I would do with normal eyelashes. I just won't get oil on them, like the oil that I have on my face, I will not get on my eyelashes. And steam from the shower, you do not want to get on your lashes because the steam will break down the glue. Other than that, they stay on. You shower with them, you sleep with them, and it's so simple. I don't even have to worry about mascara, and getting ready is so, so much quicker now that I have my lashes done. My hair feels so, so hydrated. I'll show you the products that I used. This is Olaplex number seven. Olaplex number six. This helps repair your hair. And this is a hair serum. I got this from Amazon. I got all this from Amazon actually. I'll link it for you guys in the description box and I'll pin it to the top comment. I just started using this. This is Matrix Total Results Miracle Creator. I love this. It smells so good. I actually massaged it into my scalp and pulled it through my hair. And the final step is this Blossom Jojoba Curly Hair Lotion. I haven't even put this in yet and you can see that my waves are just looking so good. Like look under here how I have such a tighter curl pattern or wave pattern, but on the outside it's more straight. So once my hair is almost dry, I'll put this in and just scrunch it and it will give my hair just a really nice hold and give the curl even more of a bend. Another thing that I do is before I go to bed, if my waves are starting to um, come out, or I wanna kind of reactivate the curl while I'm sleeping. I just do like a messy French braid, kind of pull pieces back and forth. If I end up doing that tonight, I will film that for you. After I washed and conditioned my hair, I slept in braids like this, just kind of a messy French braid. And I wanna show you guys like how healthy and happy my hair is right now. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. This is usually what I will do after a conditioning treatment. See how shiny it is? Oh, my hair's so happy. So I just take the braids out and I'm actually headed to the beach again. So my hair will be covered in salt water, but every couple of days I like to do that conditioning treatment just to keep my hair really hydrated. And another thing is I will take this um, Blossom Jojoba, I always forget the name of it, Blossom Pure Hair Care Jojoba Curly Hair Lotion and 
just to tame the frizz a little bit. Use like a handful and then I just scrunch like this, the bottom. And this will hold my curls, well, waves. I know I'm not really a curly girl per se, but my hair is pretty wavy, especially in this humid weather. And that is it. Healthy, hydrated, Florida hair. <laughs> I just take a little bit in my hand like that, rub it together and then give it a scrunch at the bottom. This will get rid of any frizz and hold the waves. I really focus on the bottom because that's where some of the frizz will happen and I want to activate the curls or the waves. I know I've called my hair curly before and real curly girls don't like that, <laughs> but it is pretty wavy naturally. It'll even get bigger and more wavy as my hair continues to dry. Now I'm going to get ready to go out in the sun. So I use lots of layers of sunscreen protection, a lot of layers. I don't believe that there's any overkill when it comes to that. I like to layer so that no sun hits my skin at all. And I always get a really good tan. You can't really see in this light, but I have a really good tan right now, but my face never is tanned. So my face is always so much whiter than the rest of my skin. I already put on my serums and I put on Sunprise SPF mineral sunscreen. Then I take It Cosmetics CC Cream Your Skin But Better. I put it in this little container and I mix it 50-50 with the same Sunprise SPF sunscreen. This is super hydrating. This is my current favorite foundation right now. I go down onto my chest. I don't wanna get it on my shirt, but it's my current favorite foundation. It's got skincare ingredients, very hydrating, but I only like it mixed with the Sunprise sunscreen. I have tried other types of sunscreen, but it just doesn't mix as well. It's just one more layer of sunscreen and it makes your skin look amazing and dewy and hydrated. And it's giving you some extra skincare along with the sun protection. So next what I do is I avoid having to redo my makeup later. So I do a lot of the steps now and these products that I'm using, the It Cosmetics CC Cream is water resistant. So it will not come off. And when I get home and take a shower, I can actually rinse my skin off with water and everything is still in place. This is e.l.f. highlighter and this is my Garnier Anti-Dark Circle Roller. I love doing my makeup first before I go out into the sun because I take a shower at night and if I'm say going out to eat later, I don't have to redo my makeup, just very mild touch-ups. For eyebrows, today I'm not gonna do anything with my brows, just comb them out. But if I was going to do my brows or maybe later, I use the NYX Micro Brow. And for this darling little blemish right here, I'm going to color correct with this green concealer. This is the opposite of red. 
so it neutralizes any red areas on your skin. Redness, blemishes, and then you put the concealer over that so it's not, the redness isn't coming through. My skin is still peeling from that rash, but oh my gosh, it's so, so much better. I don't know if you guys can see right here, the peeling on my skin, but it's getting so much better from that hormonal breakout. This is the Neutrogena Skin Clearing Concealer. And this has salicylic acid in it, so it helps clear the blemish while it's also concealing. Then I'm using Nivea Shimmer. This has some SPF in it. I also have a chapstick somewhere. It's in my beach bag. I will link it down below. I have chapstick and I use the Nivea shimmer that are that have SPF in them. This is a sun forgettable powder sunscreen. This is SPF 50 mineral sunscreen. This is incredible. It's expensive, but it is so, so, so worth it. When you first get it, you have to start getting the powder working. And if you can see the puff, I'm not sure you can see that but it puffs um, sunscreen. And when you get it, you just work it like this, put it on your skin. You can bring this with you, go over your makeup so that throughout the day you can touch up. This is also water resistant. So it's perfect for doing touch ups throughout the day, not messing up your makeup it will mattify your skin, but not dry it out because it's a mineral sunscreen. And it acts as a powder to hold your makeup in place. Next, I'm using Physician's Formula Bronzer. This has SPF in it. Of course, this has been discontinued, but I stocked up as many as I could find. This is in the color bronzer. So I'm always on the hunt for stocking up more of these. If you guys know of any SPF bronzers, please let me know. Um, I really don't want to use just a regular bronzer. I like all of the layers of different kinds of sunscreen and I have discoloration on my skin. It started when I was like 30 years old. I'm now 52 and I didn't have any problems with discoloration and melasma until I hit 30. So ever since then, when I go in the sun, I get horrible dark spots and melasma sunspots. That's why I do all of this, keeping my skin really protected from the sun. And on my body, I'll just use any kind of spray like this and I, keep my body sprayed with sunscreen all the time and it's still, I still get a great tan even though I'm keeping my skin completely protected from head to toe with sunscreen. I actually tried, I already threw it away because I would never promote something to you guys that I don't believe in or like, but the concept was amazing. It was Milani, I think it was Milani setting spray and it had SPF in it. I sprayed it on my face and I was choking. Like it smelled so, so, so disgusting. So I'm not using that. Um, the next, it was a great concept though. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is take the same SPF bronzer and I'm going to tap that on my lids for even more sun protection and a little bit of color. So later, after the day is over and I take a shower, I will come back and I'll show you guys that I'm not redoing any of my makeup. I'll show you how it lasted all day. I'm going to go to the beach. I'm going to go for a bike ride. I am keep out there sweating in the sun um, and it's not going to come off. Then I'm going to take a shower and rinse my face off. Just get any kind of sweat or um, salt 
water or dirt off the outside of my face and you'll see that nothing is gonna move. I'm using It Cosmetics and Naturally Pretty Blush. This does not have sunscreen, but it gives an extra little bit of color. Then, e.l.f. Moonlight Pearls Highlighter. Just a little bit right here to give that little glow. Gotta have the glow, I love this. I will never stop using highlight. It just gives such a fresh, glowy look. This is Revlon Color Stay Translucent Powder. I'm just going to cut it in right there for a little contour. And this helps blend in any of the products that I added. Probably not a great idea. I really don't need powder just because I am having such a problem with dryness because of the hormonal breakout, but I just wanna show you guys what I normally do. So you can see it's kind of like stuck in there now in the dryness, but I'm gonna use some really hydrating setting spray. I also do not powder under my eyes, but I just wanna get that blemish kind of covered. Then I take a clean fluffy brush and blend it in. This is Elf Dewy Setting Spray. Smells like coconuts, so yummy. This will help mesh everything together and hydrate my skin. Probably when I get back, I'm going to exfoliate this just with a wet washcloth, that dry patch. Um, I feel like doing it right now and redoing my makeup, but mm. I'm actually going to, all right, I wanna show you, hopefully you can see this. See that patch of dryness that's picking up all the makeup? I'm just gonna wipe that off. So you see it's all exfoliated now. And I'm gonna put some bacitracin on there to really hydrate that. So this is what I use, the Neosporin antibacterial to hydrate that dry spot. And I'm gonna use a damp sponge with some of the mixed CC cream and sunscreen. There we go, that's so much better. It just needed some hydration. That redness will calm down. But it's not peeling anymore. That's what I needed. Okay, I'm not gonna go over that side so you can see the difference. It's matte here and more shiny here, but I don't wanna go over that and get that all dry again. Maybe just a tiny, tiny, tiny. I might regret this, but we'll find out. Okay, that's good, tiny bit. Yes, peeling is gone. Okay, I'm headed to the beach right now and I will come back later and show you after I get out of the shower. It is the end of the day. It is almost seven o'clock at night. I have not touched my face since I filmed this morning. I went for a bike ride. I went to the beach, so I was sweating. It was super, super windy today. I took a shower. I had my hair up in a shower cap and I took water and splashed it all over my face and just took a towel and gently dabbed my face. And this is the makeup. It is still on, just absolutely incredible. Now this next part, 
I normally don't have to do, but because I just got over the breakout and my face is still kind of dry, I'm just gonna take a little bit of the um, Neosporin and put it on my lips and just the corners of my mouth where it's a little dry. I have a little bit of dryness under one of my eyes, but like I said, normally I don't even have to do this because my skin is not going through a horrible breakout. After I do that, I have the sponge and I dampened it again and just has the leftover CC cream and sunscreen. And all I do is just dab it anywhere that needs it on my face. Just very little. I'm not even adding any new makeup to it. Then I'm gonna touch up my blemish. Just to make sure that stays concealed. And I'm gonna add a little bit more under eye concealer, just because I have such dark circles. If you don't deal with a lot of dark circles, you won't even have to do this part just to brighten it up a little bit. And the Garnier Anti-Dark Circle Roller. Just dab that on there. And again, I do not powder under my eyes, so you can continue to layer the Garnier Roller and it's not gonna get cakey. All right, that is all I'm gonna do as far as concealer. Um, what's next? I'm going to touch up the bronzer just to brighten it up a little bit. And a little bit more blush. This is so super quick. You'll see how fast I get ready at night and why I do my makeup during the day because it just makes everything so much quicker when I'm getting ready. Just a little more highlight. Now I'm going to touch up my brows a little bit, which I did not do this morning, but if I had done my brows this morning, I wouldn't have to do them right now because this stays all day. It is water resistant. I really don't even touch up my brows much anymore since I've been using the Grande Lash and the Grande Brow because my brows are like so thick now. I have faithfully been using it every single day for probably close to a year now and my brows have literally transformed. Sometimes I tint my brows. I will link everything that I use down in the description box for you guys. Um, the tint has worn off on my brows, but when they're tinted, they, I don't even need to touch them up with the brow pencil at all. So I just do like a little bit to fill them in. I'm going to take the Color Science sunscreen and you can unscrew the bottom to actually refill it. And I use this to dab on to any blemishes because it really has a great mattifying powder that stays put and the color is just perfect. 
This is in the color tan. Now I'm gonna use the Picante palette by Carity. This is what it looks like. And I'm going to use these two orange colors. I just dab, 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 dab like this. Go on the outside and just blend that in. It's just got such a pretty warm orangey color that just really brightens up the eye. Then I'm gonna take this gold color right here and this, I don't even know what you would call that color. So there's like a gold and it's kind of like a blush, blushy color. So I'm gonna take the blush and just wipe it on my eye like that. And then I take the gold, the yellow, and just dab it in the center. Then I push in to the inner corner of my eye. See how that just brightens up the eye and just looks like glowy. Then I'm gonna take this darkest color right here just for the outer corner to lift the eye. Just dab it out and blend that in. So I'm gonna take the Garnier roller and put it on my hand and then dab this flat brush and just cut up in the side like this. See how that totally lifts my eye up? This is even my eye that droops more, but it looks more awake with that corner lifted. Now I'm gonna add L'Oreal Infallible Sunset. This is a gloss, such a pretty color. That's it, now the setting spray again. All right, that is it, you guys. Super quick and easy, protected from the sun. I only had to do my makeup once today and a quick touch up and I am ready to go out the door. Again, I will link all of the products that I showed you down in the description box below. I will also link them to the top comment. I'm sorry if I'm like looking off into space because I'm filming on my iPhone. I feel like dyslexic and I don't know which way to look. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos. You can also click the little bell next to the subscribe button to be notified of all of the videos that I upload. Thank you so much for watching.